University of Maine Cooperative Extension helps farmers and food producers bring you the local foods you love. These are the stories of the families who are growing Maine. Well, we're at Stoneheart Farm in South Paris. It's in uh, the foothills of Western Maine on Streakin Mountain. When we got out of the military and looked for a place to settle down, we were looking for a place where you could still afford to have some land and have some farm and wound up in Maine, haven't looked back. We started with pigs and then um, a friend of mine had was spinning wool and I had an interest in that so I took lessons and I was buying my wool and we just decided let's raise some sheep. Shy, I guess. Come on, baby. Come on. Good girl. I could not do what we do on this farm without these dogs. They make all the difference. So this is um, B. She's two years old. Um, this is Gwenny. She's seven. Um, Gwenny is a more, um, would I say, calm, intense dog when she moves the sheep. B, um, how would you describe her more? B's a lot of fun to, to work. She's got a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. And uh, one thing that she won't uh, stand for is the status quo. You know, the, my, the older dog, she's uh, steady as she goes and she's, you know, I, I, old faithful, I can count on her. She gets like, the job I done. I can send her out in a 10 acre field uh, and I know she'll come back with the sheep. Sometimes they get into a little stalemate, but when there's a stalemate, we send in B and something's going to happen. We might have to regroup after that. Yeah, it's but, not always good, but, but something's going to It's not going to be the status quo anymore. Gwenny's pretty laid back. B's ready to rock and roll. With Border Collies, their reward is to be able to work. Uh, we do a lot of rotational grazing, so there's constantly being sheep moved from pasture to pasture, from field to field. It would be very cumbersome to do it without the dogs, and it's not a big deal. I can walk over there with, well, we, with the sheep and the dogs, and it's just basically as easy as just taking a walk. You know, one of the important things to train a Border Collie is when to work and when not to work, or they'll be working 24-7. So there's a, a command that'll do that means work is done. And when I say that, it's just like flipping a switch and they are just dogs. This is my Gwen. I think it's the best of both worlds, really, because it's really great to have a dog that's a super pet but can work side by side with you all day long. At the end of the day, they're tired. They wind up on our bed and the four of us pass out and get up and do it again the next day. So it's like, how much better can it get than that? They're, they're family, really. 